what do you think is demand generally when i ask this question people think demand is wanting th- something demand is desiring something we term desire as demand but desire in itself does not imply demand desire by itself does not constitute demand there are other things along with desire that make demand so demand is desire plus willingness to pay plus ability to pay now it is very important to understand these three things we understand what is desire it it is our craving it is our want but want by itself does not mean desire want has to be backed by the ability to pay for the things you crave the things you want you should have the means the ability to pay along with it you should also be willing to pay having an ability to pay is one thing and willing to pay for it is another so to constitute a proper demand you should have a desire which should be backed by ability to pay and willingness to pay now there can be examples where a person is not able to pay that is he craves for a product he craves for a good but he does not have means he does not have the resources to pay for it so we can say he does not have the ability to pay for it thus i cannot say that his desire constitutes demand he should have the ability not only this he should also have the willingness to pay again the same example a person wants to buy a car he may have the resources he may have the money he may have the means to pay but at the same time he might not be willing to pay for it he possibly has many cars up front so he does not want to expend more on it so he might not be willing to pay when all these three things come together that is desire ability to pay and willingness to pay we can say demand has arisen let's move ahead desire plus means plus willingness makes desire makes demand now it is very important to understand that desire has to be expressed in terms of money desire has to be expressed in terms of price when i say the demand for cars is 25000 units don't you feel this sentence is incomplete what does it lack it lacks the price now when i say the demand for cars is 25000 units at a price of rupees 5 lakhs now the sentence is suddenly making more sense now i know that 25000 units of car are being sold at a price of 5 lakh rupees earlier i didn't know if i'm talking about a car of 5 lakhs or a car of 10 lakhs or a car of 2 lakhs i don't know so it is important to remember that demand is always to be expressed with the price demand should always be expressed in terms of time period we have to set a time period for expressing demand again if i tell you the demand for cars is 25000 units at a price of 5 lakh rupees the next question you will ask me is 
the demand of 25,000 units is in a day, in a month or in the whole year. Now when I tell you the demand I'm talking about is in a month. Now suddenly this sentence is making all the more sense. Now this sentence is complete. Because I am expressing demand in terms of price, I am expressing demand with the time period. I have not kept the time period open. So when I say the demand for cars is 25,000 units at a price of 5 lakh rupees during a month. Now the sentence, now the definition, now the sense of demand is complete.